So I've had the iPhone 15 Pro Max since it came out, but I've not really messed around with the action button. On the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max, Apple replaced the Do Not Disturb button on the edge of the phone that's been around forever with this new action button. And you can set it up to do just about anything with a single press. In this video, I'm gonna show you five clever ways to use the iPhone 15 Pro action button. Hi, my name is Rich. If you're new here, I make videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad without going nuts. And I do my very best to keep things simple. You know, for all I know, you can control the space shuttle with your iPhone, but you'll have to dig that up on some other YouTube channel. Here, you learn just how powerful these little devices can be, usually in a few simple steps. And this video is no different. So the action button is only on the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max, but even if you don't have either of these phones, this video is worth a look because I'm sure this feature will make its way to the base model iPhone at some point in the future. And it wouldn't surprise me if it's this year. The action button only does one thing, but you can choose what it does and you can change that anytime you like. Today's video is all about using shortcuts with the action button. And the best thing about this is that you can download each of these shortcuts from the shortcuts gallery and get going right away without having to create anything from scratch. By the way, if you don't have the shortcuts app on your phone, you can download it from the app store. Once you've done that, you can download these shortcuts from within the shortcuts app. Now this might, sound a little confusing, but stick with me. It's really easy. Okay, with that out of the way, I'll show you how to set up the action button to create a new note, super handy. Create a new note for a meeting on your calendar, which is incredibly clever. Speed dial a phone number, which can be handy too. Batch add reminders, and I know I'm gonna use this a lot. And then lastly, to trigger the awesome remember this shortcut. I made a video on that shortcut a while back. Stick around, this is absolutely worth a few minutes of your time. All right, let's get started. All right, just to be clear, the iPhone action button is this button on the side of your phone. This is typically the volume up and down button, but this little small one right here on the side is the action button, and that's what we're gonna program today. And how you do that is you go into settings, and you scroll down till you see action button, and you tap on that, and then you choose what you want that action button to do. Here, you can automatically set it up to silent mode. There's a number of choices right here that you can use. You can set it up to a focus mode, which we're not gonna talk about today, but I'll probably make a video on in the future because that's just a really handy little thing too. You can set it up for the camera. And I use that a lot because sometimes you pick up your phone and you don't want to have to fool around trying to open the camera. You just want to take a quick picture. I do that with my grandson a lot. And having the camera programmed to that button is easy. You just set it to camera and then just tap on the button and the camera's there. You can also set it to do a voice memo, translate, a language, shortcuts, which is what we're going to do, and that will trigger a shortcut. You can also set up some accessibility features in it. And then you can just set it to do nothing. And sometimes I do that because I have this uncanny ability to put my phone in my pocket and press that button. I don't know how I do it, but I do. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up a shortcut. And if you go into the Shortcuts app, you can Go to all of your shortcuts, and maybe you have no shortcuts in there. I have 106 shortcuts. But you can tap on gallery down here, and the shortcuts I'm going to show you today, you can find within the gallery. So if you want to find one, you just tap in search. For example, I'm going to show you how to do remember this. And there it is. And then you can just download the Remember This shortcut. So keep in mind that every shortcut I'm going to show you today, you'll see the name of it, and you'll be able to just download it from the gallery. I've already downloaded all the shortcuts I'm going to show you today for the purposes of this video. Okay, we're going to set up our first shortcut on the Action button. You go. How you do that is you go into Settings. 
you go to action button, you scroll over till you get to shortcut, and then you simply choose a shortcut. So what I'm going to choose, I'll go to my shortcuts because I've set them up in here. I'm going to choose new note with date. And now it's set. And if I scroll away, and if I just press and hold this button on the side, now it pops up. What do you want to say? I love taking notes. And I click done. And now I've got a note with the date on it. And it's in iCloud. There, there's the note that I just took. And all I had to do was just press that button one time. I can see this being a really handy feature. Again, the action button for me needs to be something that's quick. You know, I just want to be able to press it and get to something quickly. And the ability to do that by uh, pressing on it and filling out a quick note is going to be very, very handy. And that's how you do it with just a note. All right, this next one I want to show you is really handy. If you have an appointment on your calendar for the day, so if we go into my calendar app, you can see I have an appointment with Meet With My Financial Advisor. That's today, this afternoon. If I go back into settings and I go back into action button and go to shortcuts, I'm going to now change it from new note with a date. I'll just tap on that. I'll go back to my shortcuts and I'm going to tap on create meeting note. Again, this is a shortcut that you can just download from the galleries within shortcuts and you don't have to do anything. And now it's set, Cre create a meeting note. Now, if I press on the and hold the action button, I get meet with financial advisor and I can make a note. Ask about stock trades. And I'm done. Now, let's say, oh, wait a minute, I forgot. I want to ask uh, another question. I want to be sure that I do that. So you can press on it again, and it takes you back to the very same note you created, so everything stays in one place, and you can make another one. And you can make another note. Click Done. And there you've got it. And that's all from the appointment that you have in your calendar. It's a good way to keep track of notes in your calendar at the same time. And it's very, very handy. You just set it up on your action button. All right, the next one I want to show you is just how to speed dial a number. I've been, I debated about whether I wanted to put this in the video because I have this uncanny ability to just drop my phone into my pocket and hop into my car and I call somebody. I don't know how I do that. I don't know why my phone does that, but it does. But you can program a speed dial number that you might want to dial regularly and you might want to do it quickly to the action button. And this is how you do it. Again, go back into settings, go to shortcuts. We're going to go over to speed dial. And I've already set up a number to call on that speed dial. So if I'm here and I just press on it, It, it dials my other iPhone, just like that. And that's how you set up a speed dial number on your action button. Pretty handy, I think. All right, this next one is batch add reminders. So maybe you're going to a store and you just want to create a list of some kind that would be very handy for you. And you don't always want to have to sit down and do this uh, in reminders. You just don't want to have to fool with it. Well, this is how you do it. So again, we're going to go into settings. We're going to go into shortcuts. And I'm going to add batch add reminders. And this is a handy little feature which you will use. So if you press and hold on the action button, it says, what do you want to call this set of reminders? I'm going to call it Home Depot. And then I'm going to click Done. And then it's going to ask me what I want to add. So I'm going to type Hammer, Nails, Glue. And I'll click Done. Just like that, 
I've created a reminders list for me when I go to Home Depot. If you go into reminders, you'll see that it's already added it here. You can tap on the little arrow and go to Home Depot, glue, nails, and hammer. And that's just a handy little shortcut that you can add to the action button that I can see myself using all the time. All right, the last thing I want to show you is the remember this shortcut. I made a video on this a while back and it got a lot of views. There was a lot of people who used it. It's a shortcut that allows you to add a little note uh, for the day, something that you want to remember. And it is just a killer little shortcut. So again, We'll go back to settings, we'll tap on shortcuts, I'll go back to my action button, and I'm going to tap on remember this. And now when you press and hold the action button on the side, it says what do you want to remember? Scout is a crazy dog. That's what I want to remember for today and I clicked on. Do you want to include a photo with it? No. I've made a note and I've put it in a folder that I've created called Remember This. What happened today? At 9.23 I wrote Scout is a crazy dog. And if I go back and I want to put something else in there, I can once again hold that and it'll ask me what do you want to remember? Bye. Scout. Meds because he's a crazy dog. Do you want to include a photo? No. Go back to the note, and here it is, Buy Scouts Med. That is a really great shortcut that I encourage you to look into, even if you don't uh, assign it to the action button. Obviously, using shortcuts with the action button takes this feature to a whole new level. And the great thing about what I've covered today is you can download each of these shortcuts from the gallery without having to create anything from scratch. It's that easy. Of course, if you don't want to do any of this, you can always just choose one of Apple's options, which are pretty handy too. Okay, that's it for today's short tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.